what is going on everybody so if you follow any apple news or really anything like that you might have seen that your iphone 7 or 7 plus could potentially have some type of problems with it and really it all pretty much has to do with boot looping and what's interesting is we saw the same thing not necessarily with an iphone we might have seen it with an iphone before i don't I actually don't know but we did see it with another phone manufacturer and that was lg now i think a lot of phone manufacturers have had this problem before but lg had a notorious through their g2 g3 g4 almost all of their g line i'll be honest and that is not a g thing to do that was kind of dumb i really wish that was one of the main re i was about to make a video a while ago about why it, just a horrible thing that was about that lg did but i'll probably make it later but the iphone 7 and 7 plus are actually having those same exact kind of problems too and i want to kind of talk about it and kind of address some things now uh, this is an iphone 7 right here and i do actually kind of experience the boot looping problem on this thing which is kind of weird because i was not expecting it and one thing is is that the home button on this does not work because the screen was replaced and the home button was not kept or touch ID. So none of it works. It doesn't even click in, which is okay. I mean, I use assistive touch. I got a really good deal on this, so it doesn't really matter. But the boot looping issue was kind of weird. And I actually started getting it. And usually when I boot up my phone, um, it would randomly just go through the cycle of turning on, turning off, turning on, turning off. And then it would eventually boot in. But sometimes it doesn't. Now, I think it was Hugh Jeffrey video. Shout out to Hugh Jeffrey for showing how a little bit of tutorial of like how to check if you have it or not. But one of them was going to voice memos and clicking here and like clicking here or something like that and you can see it still works so i do believe that necessarily like if there is a problem with it or if there is boot looping you that might not be an issue you might be able to like still have a boot looping and still have all those other functions of your phone work which is kind of weird but that's just like one example now i do want to show you guys one thing and that involves me taking apart this phone now when i bought it i was pretty much told that this phone was like non like nothing was wrong with it they just had the screen replaced and as soon as i looked at the screen and i felt it and then i actually booted it up i could have easily like it was definitely not a good quality panel and i was more so like shocked that i didn't even think about it before because i really should have i mean if i'm getting a phone that was the person even said was used that i definitely should have like opened it before and seen it but i got this phone at a time where i wasn't really comfortable opening up iphones or anything but what's interesting is when i opened it up for the first time i noticed like one thing crazy and I, I didn't know like i wasn't really gonna complain about it or anything because like i said i got this phone for a pretty good price and i was like you know what if i break this phone i break it like it's not the end of the world or anything but i mean i still don't want to break it but i might end up breaking it. who knows but and also keep in mind like i always say never follow me on instructions for these things because i'm the worst phone at messer at all i don't even know what i'm doing half the time now one thing i want to show you is that as soon as i open it up i noticed that the battery is actually not an actual apple battery and when I tried to open it up, I took it apart. I literally took everything apart. And I had to buy another screwdriver for this stupid thing too. But pretty much when I took it apart, I noticed this is not an actual Apple battery. And one of the problems I was having was the battery was quickly dying and going back on, dying, quote, going back on. So that kind of makes me think that maybe, just maybe, and this isn't me diagnosing the problem or anything, but maybe my specific problem with my phone boot looping might be associated with this battery. And because it might get dislodged or disconnected and the, the iPhone can't be able to read it or diagnose it that well, I'm not too sure. But that is something weird that I saw. And I was like, you know what? This might be an issue. This might be relevant. It might not. But this really won't explain for a lot of people who are out there who haven't changed their batteries or anything like that. But it might be like, it doesn't even matter if you switch batteries or not. Maybe there's a problem with the battery itself and it's not connecting to the thing because I took the battery like a I didn't take it out, but like I dislodged it or disconnected it and I connected it back in. And it seems to be working now. It seems to be working fine. I do end up do getting a little bit of a boot loop kind of problem here. If I boot it up for you guys right now, you can see that it, ta like it takes a while for it to turn on. And then usually it goes through this, right? And it takes a couple of tries to boot it in. I did a speed test actually, and the same issues were going in too. So I don't really know what's going on with this thing. And from there, you can actually see it booted in just fine, which is usually not likely of this thing. If I go into the battery of this thing and go into battery health, you can see I do have service. Um, it doesn't really give me a maximum capacity or anything, which isn't that big of a deal, like I said. Um, I got a really good price on this phone. It has a messed up battery. But as a whole, could this possibly be why the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are having problems? Could it be because of the potential battery problems that it could have? Now, the only thing that defeats this is that not a lot of people have fixed their phones, their batteries, and they're not like changed like this one is. But at the same time, I mean, maybe it doesn't have to be changed in order for it to have problems like that. And that's really where I'm going to end it off at. Just like, I mean, this is just a quick little video, just my idea what could potentially be the problem. I'm not saying this problem doesn't exist or there could be another. I'm sure there's other issues with it too. 
and other potential problems. But I mean, I had just came off having a seven plus as a daily driver and that phone was very, very good. And I would hate to see my past daily driver having a problem like that. And I'll go ahead and try booting it up again and seeing if anything else happens. But like I said, sometimes it does shuffle through and I am able to get in, but sometimes it does randomly shut off and go back in. I'm going to try to go ahead and try to mimic it again, but oh, there we go. You see that? It just shut off and then it goes to the screen and then shuts off again. As you can see, it shut off and then it goes back to booting it up. And I don't know why that keeps happening. You can see it booted up. I don't really know what the problem is here. Like this should not be happening. I would assume it's probably a battery problem. Like I said, guys, like I don't really see what else is wrong. I really didn't have to like go in rebooting, rebooting. Usually it just does it by itself, but really that's kind of weird. And then it boots up fine, but I, could this, could this be a problem? I don't know, guys. And that is pretty much it. Leave your thoughts and condolences in the comment section below. If you guys know anything else of potential problems or what could be it, I'd love to hear you guys' opinion. Check out the links in the description, my SoundCloud, my second channel, all that stuff is down there. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, make sure you guys follow those. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. Um, that would mean so much. And if you guys are interested in buying another iPhone or iPhone 7, iPhone 8, whatever, get them through flawlessphone.com. It's a whole affiliate website I made, and I would really appreciate it if you guys got it through there so you can help out the channel at the same time. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.